right, and here is what may have been one of the cooler exclusives at TFCon this year. Second to, actually, you know, MMC had some good ones too because the Thunder, their uh, uh, Machine Wars Optimus Prime from Thunder Clash looked pretty good. Um, the Drift, as much as I don't care for Drift, that uh, blue and gold Drift they had there at uh, TFCon this year was pretty nice. Um, but uh, this is one I, I like. As soon as I saw the pictures, I'm like, "That's a really cool idea." That's who I originally thought this was going to be. This Grimlock from Steel Core when they first showed off the gray Steel Core prototype. I remember seeing it physically at uh, TFCon or not TFCon BotCon 2011, and uh, now here he is as as uh, Steel Core as so uh, Severo Core. Uh, Severo Core being the name of their Grimlock in their Lost uh, Exo Realm. Dinobot line. You see he's got some different accoutrement back here in the back of his vehicle mode. And we'll show that off here in a bit. Aside from some, a, a remolded head and a few minor remolded pieces, case in point. Um, vehicle mode, like his transformation and everything is essentially the same as Steel Corn. We'll have a comparison with them later. He does come with a couple of saw weapons, both a standard kind of powered down version, as well as a translucent... Uh, a tr transparent, uh, energized version of the the saw blade, and while it's mostly intended to use for his handheld weapon in robot mode, you can clip it onto the bumper here. I want to make sure you can see there's a, the kind of a cutout notch here, and inside here are a couple little tabs that come in, and those are what go in between those two bumper pieces. So you want to make sure to line it up so when you're clipping it in those uh, go right in between there. So you can attach like an energy saw blade or just a standard saw blade if you if you prefer to the front of his vehicle mode. It looks it makes him kind of look like a sawtooth fish, but uh, whatever. So you can pop those off. And again, uh, just like before, transformation really isn't going to be any different from steel core, so we won't dwell too much on it. You can open this up, and inside is the Severo core. It is, ha it, again, it has some transparent uh, kind of reddish-orange plastic on top of the uh, red plastic of the robot. And uh, I do want to be very careful with this because my original Steel Core Solaron uh, cracked at the hip. I did get a replacement, and he's all fine now. But I don't want to mess with the Solarons too much because now I'm very wary of the hips. He feels pretty solid, and his t hips are on. Uh, they aren't loose or anything, so uh, that's nice. But, again, do be careful with your Solarons, especially the transparent plastic parts. He's got all the same posability as Solarons do, little hinges at the elbows, all that. Go ahead and turn his head around and flip it down, fold his body in half, and tab these together. And then fold these up, and you can see where that peg right here is going to go into the slot on the leg. I guess that's really more of a tab than a peg, but, you know, semantics. And make sure that piece goes straight behind him. And there he is as the core. And it looks really nice. There's some smoke smokiness to the legs. And even some darker... The legs are a little darker. So you get like a neat kind of transparent effect. With like some smoky orange on the arms and legs. For the Severo Solaron. And then the rest of it is straightforward steel core. Untab the legs from back here and bring them down and around. Pull these panels down. Bring these hinges down and around so the bolt, the bolt front faces inside. And then fold this up and tab the red piece into it. Like that. Bring his feet forward. Flip out his heels. Legs done. And then up here on this upper half, Let's see, it's this side, yeah. Unpeg this from one side and bring the whole thing down on the other. And you can see he's got the nicely remolded Severo head here. Bring this down, fold this in, untab the arm from there, fold this panel up, and flip his fist down. Same on this side, flip this panel up, unpeg this from here, flip his fist down, Pull that panel in, although you can't open it up to give him some golden missile racks. 
and then plug the solar on into his chest. And there he is in robot mode. And that's a fine looking Grimlock or Severo or whatever you want to call him. He's got the claws on his arms now. Um, he does, like I said, this piece can oh, flip up without even having to remove it during transformation, although it can come out of his hand and give him a weapon, like a, a laser gun there. But again, as we mentioned earlier, you can fold this down. If you leave this folded up, you can take either one of the saw blade attachments, flip it over like this, again, so that little notched out part is on the top, and then you can kind of see where this uh, curved pin section is gonna snap into the blade itself. You just snap it over like that, and now he's got a chainsaw. You know, there's still no really place to store this. I guess you could clip it onto a, the back of his leg, but then he's just gonna have a blade sticking out the back of his leg. <laughs> Although, again, that from the side, it actually doesn't look too bad because it almost looks like he's got a blade kind of stored on a hip holster when you plug it in like that. Although from the front, it, it, would, look, it would look really ridiculous. Anyway, well, we're back. Well, you know what I mean. So yeah. And again, you can put on either one of these uh, saw blades. It would be nice if there were a way to, and maybe there is, I haven't found a configuration yet that really lets you, lets them kind of hold this as a sword, but oh well. So you've got either either sword blade option there. And the other thing that's really cool about these is because we showed off these claws here on his arms. And even as, the, the, as they are, they look pretty menacing. Like he could probably still claw and scrape some crap out of stuff. stuff. But they actually lift up on a hinge and extend on either side. So you can really wreck some people. And that's pretty cool too. Same ball joint head, ball joint shoulders. Uh, swivel here as well as a uh, ball joint up in the uh, top part of the arm itself. Hinge elbows, no wrist swivel. The, the fist pieces just peg in to this hinge here. You can kind of hinge them up, but that's about it. Uh, if, you un if you lift up the cockpit or the canopy here, he does get a waist swivel, although he looks a little weird doing it with the canopy sticking out. Um, come on, there we go. Ball joint hips, thigh swivel, dual hinge knees, although because of the way they're shaped, it doesn't get much more over 90, but it is there. And ball joint ankles as well as the poseable toes here and the heel. So you can, you can, you can balance him and pose him pretty solidly, even in some more extreme, and if you want to use the ab crunch too, some more extreme action shots. Although his head doesn't really, you can turn side to side and look a little bit, it's not quite able to get a little bit more cool looking. Give him his claw out of here. You can get him in some cool action poses, which is pretty cool. And then just for the sake of it, um, it didn't really seem worth, the differences didn't seem worth showing off in vehicle mode because really the only thing physically aside from color and vehicle mode that's different from is the is the claws here on the rear but uh, here he is with the original steel core who actually still is still holding uh because it works really well with him with with the, uh, the green energy blade on this weapon uh, i gave him this exclusive uh transparent green target master i think i, I may have gotten it at popcon 2011 i may have picked it up at a tf con i can't remember where i got that but I've had it for a while, and Steel Core was finally a robot that he really looked good on. But uh, there's the two of them side by side. And like I said, essentially the same. The colors are different, um, but there is the new head sculpt and the new uh, arm claws. So there it is. Um, a nice TFCon exclusive from Fans Project. Again, Severo Core. I really, I really dig him. I think he's pretty, really cool. And Steel Core was already a fun toy to boot, so there it is, uh, Fans Project Severo Core.